to Jews and Christians, Judea and Samaria are the Bible's heartland. But the United States and other world powers want Israel to give up this important piece of history to the Palestinians as part of any peace deal. Eric Stakovac sat down with one high-ranking Israeli who's leading the charge to keep that land in Israel's hands. The mountain happens to be Judea and Samaria. The His story reads like the American dream. High-tech entrepreneur makes millions, enters politics, and becomes a rising star. But that's only part of the story. While Naftali Bennett's parents are both American citizens, his story is uniquely Israeli. After getting rich from selling his startup company, Bennett could have rested on his laurels. Instead, he led a commando unit in Israel's 2006 war against the terror group Hezbollah. At that point where I ought to have been in the Caribbean with one of those cocktails and a little umbrella, uh, the second Lebanon war erupted. That war changed my life. Uh, at that point, I, I decided not to come back to the business world and high tech, which really is my passion, but that I actually have to do something for my country. And that led Bennett to enter Israeli politics, where he became Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's chief of staff. He now serves as Israel's minister of the economy and heads the Jewish Home Party. You were an entrepreneur, uh, headed up a, an elite commando unit in Israel. Why politics? We're surrounded by an ocean of totalitarian, radical Islam regimes that want to wipe us off this earth. And, and understood that while I thought that Israel can be taken for granted, it can't. And we have to fight day in to, and day out to be this beacon of freedom in the region. Bennett told CBN News that a key to preserving Israel's security hinges on keeping the strategic areas of Judea and Samaria, also known as the West Bank. Talk a bit more about the security significance of Judea and Samaria. Look, you stand on the mountains of Samaria, you can see Ben Gurion Airport. Judea and Samaria, what, what would supposedly become the Palestinian state, is a big mountain, 1,000 meters high. Smaller Israel, the pre-67 lines, is right under. So imagine giving this high land over to the Palestinians. He says history shows that when Israel gives away land for peace, its enemies make war. Also, the Jewish people's roots in Judea and Samaria go back nearly 4,000 years. When I walk around Judea and Samaria on the very same trails that Abraham, Isaac, Jacob walked, you see the same names, Bethel, Hebron, where the, the patriarchs and matriarchs are, are you know, all buried. Nevertheless, pressure builds to hand over these areas to the Palestinians. While the Obama administration and European Union lead the charge on that issue, Bennett says it's a different story when it comes to Iran's nuclear program. There, the push is to ease sanctions on the Iranian regime, which Bennett calls a big mistake. We have to enforce those sanctions. Otherwise, Israel will need to defend itself and we will defend ourselves. Bennett told CBN News he owes it to his four small children, ranging in age from two to eight years old, to keep Israel safe and secure. He also deeply appreciates the support of evangelical Christians who have stood with Israel in the face of international criticism. Eric Stackelbeck, CBN News, Washington.